What is the amount of force required to keep a 3 kg object moving with a constant velocity of 3 m per second squared? That's the object moving. I want you to pause the video and try this problem just to help us. The answer is when you see the word constant velocity indicated there's no accelerations. There's no change in velocity so therefore the, uh, zero acceleration uh, that implies that force is zero. So there's no force. It's also according to Newton's first law, an object's in motion stay in motion. An object rests stay at rest and let net force act on it. So net force is still zero, it just means that object is moving at a constant velocity. So we have a car move on from left to right. Every second it drips some oil so on the ground. And look at that, is the force on the car balanced or unbalanced? And which of this di free body diagram represents the car moving? Pause the video. So if you look at this, you know this, that the distance uh, is um, increased exponentially, so therefore we can imply that the car is accelerating. So because the car is accelerating, we can say that it is un uh, the force on the car is unbalanced. And look at this, we know that C it has the vertical component of the force uh, uh, cancel out each other, so this is balanced, so this is not the correct answer. And this right here is just mean that the car is slowing down, but as you can see here, it's car is not slowing down, it's speeding up. So the only choice that we have now is B. Uh, the vertical component cancel out. The X component, as you can see here, will remain to the right, so therefore the car will accelerate to the right. Getting faster and faster. So unbalanced and B, that's a free body diagram. Pause the video, try this one. So look at this, you will notice that uh, the, the oil drips uh, are equally spaced out. That implies that uh, the acceleration is zero, the velocity is constant, so the acceleration is zero. So therefore, it is a balanced force acting on the car. And from the previous problem, we know that, well, it's, well it's, we know from previous problem is not B. Um, and the only option here is C because, as you can see, all the force are balanced. The car is not accelerating, the car is going at constant velocity, so the only correct option is C. So for this last problem, we only have, well, only, we don't have C, A left, so it's definitely going to be A. As you can see here that the car is actually slowing down. Um, so because the car is slowing down, the acceleration is to, the force is applying to the car is to the left. So imagine if the car is going a uh, 50 mile per hour, it step on the brake, when it step on the brake, it will slow down, eventually come to complete stop, uh, it going to the right, but the force is to the left. So it is unbalanced, and the free body diagram represent that is A. If the net force acting upon an object is zero newton, then what can be true about that object? Pause the video and see if you can figure that out. The correct answer is, you can say that object is resting. You can also say that an object is moving at a constant speed and directions. Okay. Usually I just create constant velocities. Velocity implies speed and direction. Okay. So those are the two things that you can say. So we have a velocity and time graph here of three different situations. Your job is to determine whether the force are balanced or unbalanced. For the first one, you can see that the velocity is constant, it's the same number. When the velocity is constant, it's not changing, the acceleration is zero. If the acceleration is zero, then the force acting on the object is also zero. So this would be balance. So the answer should be no. This one's the slope of this line will tell you the acceleration. The slope is negative, so therefore it has a negative acceleration, so the force is unbalanced. Answer is yes.
And again, the slope of this line tells you tell you acceleration. Uh, and the acceleration is positive, so therefore the force is unbalanced. So the answer is yes, unbalanced. For this problem, you need to find the net force of uh, the T situation here and then determine whether the object is accelerating or not. So for the first case, you can see here the vertical component cancel out, so 30 newton up and 30 newton down, then it just cancel out the vertical component cancel out. But what we have left is the net force is net being combined all the forces, so we have 7 newton and then force is a vector, so you have to tell direction. So 7 newton to the left. Right here, you have 30 up and 30 down, so 0 newtons. And for this case, you also have, well, this line should be longer, but it doesn't matter. It say 30 up and 15 down. So we can say that it is 15 newtons up. Going back to whether it's accelerating or not, you can see that there's a net force of 7 here. So therefore, it is accelerating. This one, it is not acceleration because it is the force of balance. So it has zero force, zero net force. Right here, it has 15, uh, 15 Newton up, so therefore it is accelerating. So yes, for this one. So again, yes, accelerating, no, and yes. So Yi suggests that uh, object B, which is this object right here, can be presented by a dot diagram below. So this is the diagram that Yi uh, represents this object. Ethan argues that Yi uh, is wrong because object B could not have any horizontal motion. It cannot have this motion if there is only vertical force acting on it. On it. So this is free body round diagram indicate vertical force, right? And so he say that only, there's only vertical force, so they saw, therefore there shouldn't be any horizontal motions. So who's right? Explain. So Ethan is not quite correct in, this, uh, in, in his reasoning because just because uh, there is no other than the force, and the net force is zero, the object can still be moving. Okay, remember that the object can still be moving horizontally but at a constant velocity. Constant means the velocity is the same. Okay, so Ethan argument uh, reasoning was incorrect. This is object A. Looking at object A, Nora claims that the object is moving to the left since the only horizontal force acting upon it is its left world force. So looking at this diagram right here, Nora concludes that this object must be moving left where there's a, a, a horizontal force uh, pointing to the left here. Is no, Nora right? Explain. Well, if you think about it, this object has the ability to move to the left, but it also can, can move to the right too. So if you just think about it, if you have a, a car moving to the right and step on a and you step on the brake, the car is moving right, but the force can also pointing left. So based on that example, we know that uh, Nora is not completely correct here. So again, in this situation, the object can move to the left, but it also has the ability to move to the right. It's just slowing down when it goes to the right. We're gonna go slow, slowing down, okay? Which of the object, objects could be could be moving to the right? Possibly, you don't try yourself. So let's look at object A. Object A free body diagram, it is, uh, the net force is zero here. So it has the ability to move to the right, it just is going to move as the constant velocity. So this, yes, this is correct. Um, this could be correct. And this one also, the net force is zero, so it also could move to the right at a constant velocity. This, the force is pointing to the right, 
So therefore, there is a possibility that it can move to the right. So this is also an answer. And again, there's a false pointing left. Like the previous problem, Nora uh, reasoning wasn't completely correct. Just because the false pointing left doesn't mean it cannot move to the right. It can. It can move to the right. It just slow down. Like the car move to the right, step on the brake, the force to the left, the car just incline, eventually slow down to complete stop. Okay, so this is also pos uh, uh, a possibility. And so the last one is also a possibility. Okay, so all of the which object could be moving to the right? All of this object could be moving to the right. So that's pretty much it for this uh, practice problem for Newton's first law. I will see you in the next video.